Hi darlings, this is Christina at Makeup Box FYI. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I got some good stuff, guys. I have the Chanel tweeds. I'm so excited. This is probably one of the most exciting launches um, of Chanel for all of 2022. Um, so, wasting any time, okay? Let's get into it. My awesome essay from Chanel sent this to me and I am so excited. I looked at the different designs of the Chanel options in regards to the tweets. So excited. I looked at the different designs of the Chanel options in regards to the tweets and there's only two that kind of stood out to me. And so I chose Curve which is the 01 palette, 03 Tweed Fave. So I felt like these spoke to me the most. So my essay sent me lots of photos and these were the two that stood out to me the most. And I felt like one, I didn't have, well, that's not true. I probably have something similar in certain collections, but I feel like 03 Fave, which is supposed to be the very warmish um, fall rich colors. I don't think I have a palette quite like that. I really try when I'm doing my reviews to choose items that I don't have in my collection and two that I would actually use. I just don't want to consume lots of product that I would never ever use and just gonna sit there. So it's a benefit for both of us. See, it's a mutual symbiotic relationship. So, so excited. So let's start with 01. So, Packaging is everything. Look at this. OMG. This is Darling. So the outer package matches actually the inside of what these colors look like. So it is made in Italy. It's got two grams of product. And first of all, can we just talk about the packaging? So what I understand is that they actually use tweed material to hand make these. Now, what I love about Chanel in particular, it is a luxury fashion house that has stood the test of time. It is one of the most prestigious and what I, oh, one day I would love to own a piece of actual clothing from Chanel because especially like a tweed something that is very classic to them because this is what they're known for you know it's coco chanel's different designs of of like the use of these fabrics her colors and you've seen tons of different very important figures in history using and wearing chanel um, tweed so i thought the history behind this was just such, gives it so much more richness. And so I love that we get a little bit of that history in the packaging. So I'm, I'm off my high horse now. I just wanted to talk about that because I just love it. That is something that you pay for when you're purchasing, you know, these luxury products. So it does come with a case and two sponges. I'm just gonna take them out because otherwise it's gonna get weird. But this, is the product isn't that beautiful okay but look at this beautiful design they look they're they're quilted it's so cute so pretty i love this because uh, i chose this this option because i love to have makeup to go with me some i wake up really early every day to take my kids to school and sometimes i just don't have the time to do my makeup before I leave the house. So I have a whole little kit that I leave in my car and this is definitely gonna be one of them. Um, just simply because it's easy and this is a very neutral tone. So that's why I chose it. It's got warm browns and that speaks to me. I'm not really a cool tone brown person. It doesn't really flatter my skin tone. So let's do the gold one first. Do. 
these are so creamy and it's supposed to be a new formula from Chanel that's more pigmented and it feels really creamy in comparison to the others that I have this is very rich oh my gosh this is such a pretty palette This is 01 Tweed Curve. I'm going to get into 03 Tweed Fauve. So this one's a little, um, in comparison, they're almost the same. This one's browner and this one has more orange, which makes sense because this one is that really true fall color. Oh my gosh, you talk about fall. Is this not the most beautiful fall colored themed palette? Oh, it's beautiful got these rich golds, this rich like terracotta, a brown and a warm peach. Ooh, it's making me feel some kind of way. It is making me feel some kind of way. So let me just get into it and swatch. We're gonna start again from the bottom. definitely shows up very creamy very pigmented I'm excited to try these so I'm going to do one eye with Curve one eye with Fauve so you can see them side by side currently I have just all my regular makeup on so my foundation concealer my bronzer and yeah and a little bit of the new Demi Moo lipstick mm, i love it so much and i mix that with my chanel beige natural just to give it a little mm, around the edges um and 158 which is natural rose i believe like it's 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 gone i it's like rose natural 158 so i kind of mix those because they're i want it to be pink but not too pink anyways you don't care about that right now Everything will be listed below. And here we go. So I will start with, I think the all over shade. That might be pretty. Definitely. Mm. So I think I'm going to start with this one. I'll start with this one all over the lid. And I'm taking just my Refer 15 brush, just patting it. And I want to just lightly sweep it all over the eyes. It's pretty pigmented. I mean, with Chanel, I'm not expecting Charlotte Tilbury. I'm not expecting Pat McGrath. You know, so I'm okay with this. It's like a wash, a pretty wash of brown color that you can see. And then we're gonna add a little bit of dimension and I'm gonna do that with, cause I wanna use all the colors. We're gonna take this color here. We're gonna put it in the inner corner. These are really pretty. And what I love is that these have some type of like shimmer to them. So not glitter, but shimmer. So it's gonna look a little, 
softer and this shimmer doesn't accentuate texture because Chanel does kind of cater to like, you know, skin that's aging, you know? So it's a little drier, may have a slight more wrinkles, you know? And so it's always very friendly. So it's a very beautiful, mature eye look. Ooh, this is a pretty smoky eye moment. Look at this. I have a hard time with smoky eye because typically the colors are too dark and it just gets real funky really fast. Oh, but I could do just these two colors. Look at this. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love with this. This is going to be the perfect like everyday easy just pack it on and go because the nice thing because Chanel isn't like super pigmented, it's very user friendly. So if you're new to makeup, even as a younger person, this would also be gorgeous because it's easy. You can play with color. You can, you can play with anything, you know, if you want to try. Oh, I love it. Now we're going to go in with a deeper color. Now, previously I used my, I don't know if I stated it, but I used my Wayne Goss 19 brush. And now I'm going to use just a Morphe 514 brush. I'm going to take this color here and we're going to just add a little more dimension in the corners. I'm just going to pack it in slightly move up, but mostly just focusing on the edge. Ooh, this is a sexy moment. This is a date night. This is a girl's night out. This is sexy. Oh my gosh. Guys, I'm really excited. Like, I've never had something so smoky, but so soft and so feminine and just works. This is going to be my new favorite. Oh my God. This, easy. Easy, easy, easy. Okay. So I'm going to use one of their brushes because they're actually pretty good, especially when you, when you want to use the shimmers, which this gold, it totally is. So I'm going to just take that. And then I just pack it. Oh, yeah. Oh my God. I love it. I love it. Chanel came out their holiday collection last year. It was mostly like different type of shimmers. It was like a black, uh, like a white, a big a ivory and a gold. Oh, I live for that palette. It is my favorite, like inner corner highlight, over the top, like pretty sparkle. And this is giving me that gold shimmer shine. Oh my God. This topper shade, stop it. Stop it, guys. This right here, I'm I'm actually pretty blown away. I've never had a Chanel palette be so pigmented, so many different variations of finish, so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Do you see, guys? Look at this. And this took me all of like a few minutes to do. I didn't have to like work it. I didn't have to do any of that. Oh my god. This is Guys, this is a hit. This is a, a run, don't walk situation. Worth every penny, worth every penny. So let's, I like to get a little bit of everything. So I'm gonna take this color. We really only really need to kind of work with the, the two. Let's see how that shows up on my outer. This is nice. So I'm gonna put this all the way through. And then I will take that deeper brown and just focus on the outer. Yeah, like that. Nice. Just there. And then I'm going to just put that gold on the inner. My favorite, Fix Plus. I'm going to take that gold. Put it on the inner corner. Okay. 
and actually it didn't too much mess up the pattern normally they go away like right away this one actually maintained pretty well except for you know the fixed buzz and the wetness on this brush on this particular um color now, if you want to amp it up some i got my smith 253 i just want to show you so i'm gonna just I'm gonna go on the, I'm gonna go on the edge. I don't want to ruin it all the way yet. <laughs> oh look, put a little fix plus. Look at that. You amp it up even more. Nice shine. This is so pretty, so pretty, and this is like <laughs> an all the time palette. It's not just a fat, a fall palette. You can do this. You can work this every season because if you just want to give yourself a little drama and going somewhere special, I can't stop with that one. So now we're gonna do five. So I cleaned off my Refer 15 brush, so we're gonna go back into it. And I think, hmm, which one should we do all over? Let's do this one, this one's fun. It's like a pumpkin, cute peachy pumpkin. So we're gonna put this all over the eye. And this one is definitely very sheer. It shows up, but you know, it's supposed to be a wash of color. So if you just want to run out of the house, you know, you're similar to my tone, this is gonna be like your skin, but better. And sometimes that's all you want. Sometimes you just gotta get out of the house and you just wanna look a little put together. This would be it, this is your one and done. Put some lashes on, you're done, okay? Now let's do mm, let's do that terracotta and I'm selling a G Blender Pro and we're gonna go into here and then we're gonna go right in the corner that terracotta mm, now this is a pumpkin. This is a pumpkin spice latte on your eyes. You know, I'm not a big fan of pumpkin spice latte. I'm not a big fan of pumpkin in general. I'm definitely a sweet potato kind of girl. Mm -hmm. But oh, it's beautiful. Look at that. It's a perfect kind of warm, orangey tone but without being like too much and then let's take our Wayne Goss 04 brush and I'm gonna go into that deepest color which is kind of it's so dark but it kind of gives me like some eggplant vibes which would be like a nice compliment here So nice depth, but easy to blend once again. So you could totally just do this one and done kind of look. It's very pretty, but of course we're not gonna stop there. We're gonna put the last shade on top, 253 brush. And while this is not a classic shimmer, you know, it's lighter. So we're gonna place that on the top. It's pretty. That's like a burnt, a burnt yellow. So it's not like a gold. It's yellow, but like, a nice shade of it. Not a mustard yellow. It's not that, not that deep, but, or not that bright. This is a pretty gold though. It's very subtle. So this is a definitely a more subtle eye look, but still beautiful. Oh my gosh. This is going to be a beautiful fall palette. 
once again, easy, easy, easy. You saw me do it, like blending it out, super simple. But first we're gonna start with our little pumpkin. We're gonna flip it all the way through here. Very nice, love it. And then we're gonna take the deepest color and just on the outer edges. And then we're gonna take that gold shade and just put it on the inner corner and the inner portion of the eyelid. It just brightens everything up. You know, normally I'd be tempted to put some sparkle, which you totally could from Curve A or any other sparkly palette you have. So I'm gonna, that, I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna leave it like this. This is really pretty too. And I think because of the color dimensions, it's more daytime friendly versus this one, which is a little more like nighttime, kind of like super sexy, seductive. You can absolutely do it during the day if you want. But I feel like the fog is definitely still kind of richer, but daytime friendly. Okay, we have Curve A. We have fog. All right, so I have to say, I am so impressed and I'm so glad that I chose the palettes that I did choose. Um, I'm gonna show you a little photo of all the colors and all the options. And for my tone, um, I warm based person. So I would definitely recommend if, you're, if you have warmer tones to choose the warmer palettes. And these two, the Tweed Fauve, and the Tweed Curve are gonna be your jam. I'm just gonna tell you that the others are cooler. There was that purple one, which I wasn't, I have enough purple and the purple and pinks that I have are bomb. I wasn't interested in a soft pa purple palette. I kind of have that already with Chanel in a different palette, which I'll do in another comparison video. But these, amazing. And I don't have anything like it in my collection. And I just think you're gonna be so impressed. So impressed, especially if you're looking for something easy. The formula is creamy, it is yummy, it's sumptuous. These colors are very fallish and not just for fall. Like you could play with these colors throughout the year. There's a lot of one and done looks you can do. Like the Curve A is a lot right now, but you don't have to make it that heavy. As you saw, I was building it very easily and it just took it up a little bit of a notch here and there so what do i give it a, a plus plus um you know i personally am a lover of makeup i love my pigments you know i love my pat mcgrath i love charlotte tailberry those are probably my top two and then chanel has impressed me with these because for my easy one and dones with a nice pigment with like a shimmer to their oh now the Curvy had a lot more different type of textures, whereas the Fauve, it was more like a smooth, creamy matte. So that's the look and you can pop on some, some sparkle if you wanted to. Um, I would use it from the actual Curve because that would be really pretty too, over that pretty yummy, custardy, yellowish base. Um, I don't have enough. I don't have enough to say. I'm in love with these palettes. I cannot wait to wear them more. I'm gonna get this out to you guys as soon as I can because these are limited edition and you don't want to miss out. I don't know about the other palettes, but these two, my jam. All right, darlings. I hope you have a great day. I hope this review helped. I will do a follow-up in regards to the other palettes that I have that are similar to these in case you were curious. So, all right, darlings, I'll catch you in the next one.